Hi, uh, my name is uh, Stig. Uh, I have here a package from uh, Hobby King. Uh, I'm gonna open it. So you can see what's inside. This is probably just packaging. So we have a Turnergy 180 degree servo. I'm going to use on my, uh, on my FPV plane. I got a Fat Shark. A Fat Shark. I believe it's a Fat Shark battery for my goggles. that it came along with the uh, charger plug so this is the lipo 7.4 thousand milliamps for um, for my fat shark goggles that's gonna be great Bungee uh, rubber for my uh, bungee launcher. I'm going to use on my X8. And this is This is my uh, bungee launcher from Hobby King. So, uh, yeah, great. So that I'm gonna build uh, this launcher and I'm not gonna use uh, this uh, bungee uh, that come, come along with it. I'm gonna use this one instead. So I'll uh, take a look at this and, uh, and uh, make a quick build video. <coughs> I think this is pretty fast. Uh, I also uh, seen some other videos that you probably should do something with this, uh, cover this with something. I don't know, paint it or something. But we will look at that. I'm sitting here trying to mount my uh, Hobby King uh, bungee launcher, and um, it is very easy. Even if the the instruction manual is not very detailed, it you, you pretty much can't can't um, fail. However, I do want to point out that these clamps, uh, pipe uh, clamps, they're going to be uh, screwed together with the Phillips screws, uh, but they are not the same. The holes, the screw holes are not the same, so you have to be aware that um, some of the holes, the screw will just pass right through. And let me see if I can find another one. Uh, these are the same. And and here you go. This one is uh, the 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 holes are smaller. So basically, uh, the big one and the small one fits together. And then you can screw them together. So just be aware of that. But it doesn't say any anywhere. And I was you know trying to uh, a lot of them. Oh. Just a battery that was finished charging. 
Uh, so I have um, I tried a lot of them and uh, the screw didn't fit in any of them so I was really wondering what's going on here is uh, the holes are too big but no it isn't it's just you have to you have to find the match basically so uh, I'm just gonna screw them together and um, and we will I will get back when yeah, that's so I have uh, found the the, uh, the match the pairs and I've started uh, assembling the the uh, the launcher itself and it it is quite uh, easy uh, just follow the instruction and um, and you can just screw them on like this so I only try to see if I can have the screws facing inwards uh, that's a, a minor detail so I will just uh, finish up uh, uh, all the, the pipes and um, we'll see how it looks when I'm done Yes, uh, I have now uh, finished all the pipes and the frame. It's kind of hard to see. It doesn't fit in the uh, in the frame of the camera. Anyway, you have to uh, pay attention to uh, two of the uh, the pipes. There are holes in them right here. It is marked on the on the instruction manual. Uh, and the purpose of the holes is for the uh, for the spikes to go through. If that is really necessary, I don't know, uh, because the, the tension is supposed to be on the pedal and not on the, the frame itself. Uh, the frame is not, you know, it's kind of fragile, so you have to be careful with it. So I don't think it's very wise to, to put tension on the frame. It is possible to, to glue them. Uh, um also not just to put screws in them but to have glue i have decided not to because i want to learn how to how it works the frame how it works and uh, maybe uh, after some use you you i will get some ideas to on some modifications i already have one uh, thing that i think i want to do I'm not quite sure what it's called, but the the plumbers they have some kind of isolation material uh, for water pipes to prevent them from freezing. And I was thinking maybe I should buy some to put uh, on the outside of the pipes so that the plane can slide more easily uh, on on the pipes. But I don't know if if that's going to help. But um, that's a thought I have uh, for now. Uh, so let me see uh, how I can assemble this one. Uh, I did heard that it is uh, that you should um, paint these or do anything with it because it's wood and if it's wet outside, it's gonna, you know, get wet. So, but um, I think I will uh, assemble them and uh, if 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 I will paint it, I can still paint it afterwards. So, okay. So I will uh, get back when uh, when I have uh, assembled the uh, pedal. Yes, I have um, started to assemble uh, the the pedal. I just wanted to to uh, show you and point out that these um, these uh, hinges they were too big, so they didn't fit in the in the uh, in the uh, laser cut uh, holes there. So you have to sand them down, these tabs, these uh, tabs, you have to sand them down to get them to fit. So um, I use my Dremel to do that, <clears throat> but now it's a, it's a tight fit and that's good. And I'm going to glue them in. Um, not quite sure what kind of glue I should use, uh, if I use, should use just CA or, or uh, some wood uh, glue, or I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm going to figure that out, probably just uh, CA. And uh, and uh, and after that, this uh, this uh, screw, this big rod, is going through to to uh, to make this. Uh, let me just move just. So there we go. <coughs> to uh, to make this uh, pedal like this. So um, well, I will glue them, and um, I will be back. So. Um, I now I now uh, fitted the um, 
the the screw the rod I had to I had to sand uh, a bit uh, to get them uh, to get the two tabs the uh, the hinges in between but uh, now it works so uh, I, actually how um, how rigid this is it's yet to see the uh, uh, I have one more the the, the the intention is to to use the zip ties uh, around the uh, the pipe of the, the um, of this the bungee launcher. Uh, I don't know if I will do that. Uh, I think it's better to just have a hole, uh, maybe two holes in this uh, in this pedal, which uh, with a with a huge uh, uh, nail. <coughs> In, into the ground so that you don't load the um, the, uh, the the frame the launcher frame at all uh, so the uh, the frame is totally independent and, and it's uh, loose uh, just standing on the ground <coughs> uh, and then you tie down this uh, this pedal to the ground so you can use, uh, you see it, these spikes fits uh, real well here, but if you have one big one, uh, or maybe two big ones uh, in front, into the ground, I think that's going to be uh, uh, enough. So, um, there is this uh, rope. What the rope is for, I'm not quite sure. Ah yes, of course I know. It's uh, it's to attach these uh, uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the rubber band and uh, to the to the plane, of course. So, but uh, it's very easy. I'm pretty much done with the build of the the uh, the uh, the um, bungee launcher. I will probably paint this. I, I will need to paint my X8 with some uh, black paint uh, because of the white glue that I used so I can probably use the same black paint to paint this one because I don't really care what kind of color it is and if I paint this one black you know the frame of the launcher launcher is also black so well that's it so thank you for watching mm -hmm.